Swimming is a sport that, in a lot of ways, it's a sensory deprived sport. Usually once you hit the water, you're in your own cocoon, and everything that's going on outside of that goes away. And the favorite is Tom Wilkins. This guy doesn't have a lot of talent, but he's just a warrior. He's a throwback to what swimming used to be. He goes, visits pain zones nobody else ever has. Has the lead, that's inside. Anybody can win this race. definitely been moments in like the past month where I've just kind of like had to shake my head and say like, I'm definitely doing too much right now. My coach sat us down and had really the talk with us. He told me that if I wanted to be as good as he thought I could be that I needed to make some other sacrifices in my life. You know if that's really where you want to go with this these are the sacrifices you're going to have to make. Understanding that, you know, as a 12-year-old, this process has now turned into another 10 years of your life. Lane one, representing the USA, Tom Wilkins. His Stanford coach once said to me, your son goes to war with himself every stroke of every lap, of every practice, of every day. My first opportunity to make the Olympic team was in my best event, and the event that I was ranked number one in the world in. Suddenly, Tom Wilkins had the spotlight on him. It was something he wasn't used to. There was this moment in time where Tom was the best swimmer in the world and he wasn't ready for it. But this could be one of those trials where a major, major star might not make the Olympic team. Tom Our sport is not for the faint of heart. It's where four years it comes to one race. But I've always worn that as a badge of honor. He knows if he beats everybody on his right, he's going to be going to Rio. The is fading and Jaeger is pushing to the wall. Oh my gosh, look at that dead 